hi everyone welcome and welcome back to another video tutorial here i'll be showing you how to space text or um different ways on how to um space text here in coral draw all right um it's very simple and very very easy to do so aside i'm um, showing you how to space text i'll be showing you a few other tips and tricks you can also learn too so uh, without any further ado let's begin okay so um we'll be making use of the text to here we come to this area we click on it then um, come here and then click then write any text okay so um let's change the font let's try um let's use Montserrat bold all right so let's increase this hold on shift and you drag so um we want to space the characters on this text here so to do so you go to this area here the shape tool here so you click on it and once you notice you see this icon here so here's what to do so you just you don't need to hold any key you just uh, click on your mouse then click it and you drag until you are satisfied with the outcome here so you just drag 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 until you are satisfied with the outcome so it keeps getting wider depending on your choice so whichever one works for you so um this here is known as um kerning k-e-r-n-i-n-g so okay um let's try another one here so we're done with this okay how about i want to space okay um let's say i want to space um text between words these are not characters now okay so we want to space this um each word here individually without actually breaking them so here's how to do them let's change the font though it's applicable to any font so i just choose to um use this bold one here so that it can be more visible so you click on the shape tool again then this time you hold on a shortcut key which is shift so then you just drag to your right whichever one so you drag to your right as you can see each um, word is being spaced individually so just click on it let's undo that ctrl z so you hold on shift then you click then you click on this icon here and you drag each word here is being spaced um individually so okay um that is it i hope you got it so you highlight this centralize c so um let's move on to the next one here which is uh, okay this here are uh, um artistic text here so i have a video in the description below that explains artistic text then um, i'll be attaching a link in the description below so you can check it out later so another one is um so let's create a new page for this so we come to this area just click on this plus icon so um let's create a paragraph text i also have a video in the description below on how to create a paragraph text it's very simple and very easy to do so you click on this um text to here so you just create a text frame you just drag as if you're creating a box here then um since we don't have any text here so we add um we add a text inside here which is um lorem ipsum here so um here's how to do it so you just click on this and right click 
then you see um so add a placeholder text inside here since we don't have a text so i have a video also in the description below on how to do this and few other tricks too so this this is called a placeholder text so you just click on it yeah okay so um let's say we want to space um the sentences here so these are not so these are um some random words here so you can check the video on the uh, description below on how i explain this so um for the sake of this video let's just move along and focus on the essence of this video so um let's say we want to space the sentences in this um here so you make use of the shape to here again so you select the text here then click on the shape tool you select the shape tool again then and you notice this um icon here again so you drag them down as you can see the sentences are being spaced rather than hitting enter rather than hitting enter to space enter so this is much preferable so you click on the shape tool you want to adjust yeah so same thing applies maybe you want to stretch the font to your right so which ever one works for you so um this is called a paragraph text here yeah. this is called a paragraph text all right um it's very simple and uh, very very easy to do okay aside selecting the shape tool you can also use this area here so you just drag it down whichever one works for you so you just drag it down the sentences will be spaced individually okay and this here is known as um leading spacing between sentences all right um it's very simple and very very easy to do okay i think this should be the last one before i show you some other tricks so let's say we have some random text here okay let's add a few other words too all right so let's say you have this coral draw uh, enter let's say you want to space this um coral draw from the random text in so click on the shape tool again then um this arrow this is where it comes in here so just drag it just play with it around to you, until you are satisfied with the final output here okay if you notice there are some little boxes here so i'll explain um what and how to make use of it so um i hope this one is much understood so um here are some few tricks here. Let's create a new page. Come to this area and click new page. So let's take for instance you want to write um a superscript or subscript and uh you don't want to break the text or any other thing. So here's what to do. Let's take for instance you want to write um 22 square. You can't be breaking the text here to do so so here's what to do you click on the shape tool again and if you notice there are some boxes little tiny boxes below the each character here so this one is for this text here 
this one this, this one is for this character here so just select it once you select it it becomes more um tiny so here's what to do now you come to this area then see super script position the text characters above text baseline and here you go okay let's take for instance you want to write um a subscript so this is a superscript and also you can change the size and the color and every other thing still the same thing which is set to undo so let's take for instance you want to write other let's take for instance um an element let's say oxygen gas here so that is that should be o2 so this should be a subscript the two should be below the oxygen here so select the shape tool then let's undo that here control z so you select the shape to here then you notice this tiny box like i said so you just highlight it then you come to this area subscript all right this is it it's very simple and um very very easy to do so you can try it out with um other text so um you can get your final um output all right guys and um, that is it on this video on text spacing in coral draw and few other tips and tricks all right guys if you find this video helpful do all to hit on the subscribe button turn on post notification bell to get notified of upload new videos and don't forget to like share and comment on our videos thank you for watching and see you on the next video tutorial